Hello once again, I'm Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Today we will watch part four of our cable replacement project at the Meritex Caves in Kansas. Our participating utility is Kansas City Power and Light, and this video is sponsored by Burns and McDonald. Now the opening scene here is the distribution pole we last saw at the end of part one of this video series with a cable, a new cable ready for connection. And here we are now back up on the pole, and the first task is to assign A, B, and C designation to the three different phases of the cable. And next they're going to make some cuts to the cable. Now I will note that the lineman in the frame here is Jeff. He is a lineman splicer, and the guy wearing the GoPro camera is Paul, a cable splicer. Here they are forming the cable itself. You're going to hear both of these gentlemen talk a little bit later. Here they're using a heat source to heat up the outer jacket of the cable. Make it simpler to strip that off. Oh yeah, it makes a lot easier. And that's what you see him doing now, peeling back the outer jacket of the cable, which will expose a series of concentric neutrals. You see the copper wires there and he's going to actually bend them back along the spine of the cable and tamp them down with a tool, keep them tight, and then I'm going to let him talk about what he's doing over. next. After you bend them down and beat them down and then do the mastic, then you do a layer of 33 over the top of it. Okay. And I pull that pretty tight because, again, when you go pulling that cord, that cord's going to brush up against it, and you don't want it to knock anything loose. I got you. Because next we're going to see Paul, who was speaking in that last portion of the video, pull back the semicon, semiconductive layer of the cable. He's going to do that on cable A also. You see cable B has already been pulled back. And then he's going to measure the depth of the lug that he's going to use on these cables so that he can go and measure that against his cable and cut away mark and then cut away the right portion of insulation. And again, I'm going to let him tell you a little bit about what he's doing next. Yeah, if you can peel that and see that light pink insulation all the way around, then you yeah. know you didn't hit it. Next, Paul and Jeff will work together to sand and uh, make a clean surface on the insulation and they're going to form this cable with its lug, bring it up to the switch to see they've got the right distance, and then use a crimping tool to make some crimps. Meanwhile, Paul will install cold shrink termination on both cables A and B. There he is putting it on B. In the meantime, Jeff is working on cable C. Now Paul is installing the lug for cable B, and he's going to go ahead and do this crimping on this cable. And notice as he does this here, you might be able to hear the crimper in the background, he's going to change or rotate the crimps so he gets overlapping crimps. There you see it moving from vertical to horizontal. And back again, he'll do four total crimps on this connection. And now take out a wire brush and clean the bottom of the switch where he's going to make a connection. Next he'll take out a connecting plate and a bottle of deoxy. And put some deoxy on this connecting plate also on the back of the cable lugs. With the deoxy applied he takes the connecting plate and makes the connection between the switch and the lug on the cable. You'll see more on these connecting plates in part five of our series. And next, Paul is going to talk about some taping techniques. We'll go four and two. Uh -huh. So start the top, down, up, down, up. And then we'll go over it with 33, two half lap layers. So I'm gonna this go, just yeah. This is just one layer and this is from the bottom up. So you, rip, you just rip that off. Yeah, I take the backing and I stuff it up underneath here like this. Hold on, man. This 
as you know, it's self-fusing, so it gets touches itself, it's probably going to stay in that okay. wrinkled form. But anyway, as I'm going up, I'm kind of shoving that backing up underneath there. So I start. We do try to do half lap layers. I can tell this takes some practice. Yeah. So Paul does a nice job of finishing up the taping here, and then I'm going to let him take it away again on what they do next. So we're tight, getting bolted up, taped up. So now let's go ahead and peel our 33 off. Let's get it grounded. Okay. And I kind of back and forth and kind of get them all gathered up. Yeah. And then I'd have yours bend yours towards me, okay. and I'll bend mine this way and something like that yep. so now paul and jeff will tape up those neutral tails they will connect to ground on the pole and tie in their neutral tails to the new ground bus bar tighten everything up with that bus bar and with that, open up the switches and be ready for the next phase of this project. Yep. Gotta make the tails. And that concludes part four of our cable replacement video at the Maritex Caves. You see the closing picture here of the open switches. They will be closed in part five. Our participating utility was Kansas City Power and Light. This video was sponsored by Burns and McDonald. I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Thank you for watching.